Hey guys, Kenny here from Magic Internet Money. On a, today's video, we're talking about retro airdrops. As you can see above behind me, if you go on YouTube now, you'll see a lot of big influencers talking about retro airdrops. So if you're a crypto enthusiast like myself, you're wondering, hey, what are crypto, what are blah, 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 crypto retro airdrops, and how can I get my hands on some of those retro coins? On today's video, we're gonna talk about. It. So to understand a repto air, retro airdrop, it's kind of like a tongue twister. I want to say repto, not retro airdrop. We need first grasp the concept of a regular airdrop. In cryptocurrency, an airdrop is when a project distributes free tokens to holders of a specific token or to a particular community. These tokens are often distributed as a promotional or a reward mechanism. A few years back, Stellar was a big airdrop where they gave out 19 billion tokens if you held one Bitcoin. So if you held a Bitcoin, you got so many Stellar tokens uh, for a reward. Now, a retro airdrop takes this idea to the next level. It involves distributing tokens to users based on their past activity, often uh, even before the airdrop was ever announced. This means you could receive tokens for actions you've already taken uh, within a particular blockchain or ecosystem. So how does a retro airdrop work? Well, it typically involves a snapshot. The project behind the airdrop takes a snapshot of a blockchain at a specific block height or date, recording all the addresses or their associated balances. This snapshot is used to determine who is eligible for this retro airdrop. The criteria for eligibility is very, nothing set in stone here. It's totally up to the, I guess, the, the people behind this. Uh, it could be based on the number of tokens you hold, your participation in the project, or even your historical transactions on the blockchain. So what is the motivation behind retro airdrops? Well, you might be wondering, why do crypto projects carry out these retro airdrops? Uh, people already have their, to their tokens, so why are they rewarding people from their past actions? Well, there's a few key reasons. First. It's a way to reward early supporters, people that truly believed in the project or active community members uh, versus really somebody that heard there was going to be an uh, airdrop and went out and bought a ton, a ton of tokens. The people that were there at the start helped build the community. Will they get rewarded? Second, it can boost engagement and participation within the ecosystem. Uh, additionally, retro airdrops or retroactive airdrops can create a sense of fairness. Instead of rewarding those who happen to hold the token at a specific time, they reward those who, who are highly engaged with the project. So what are the potential benefits uh, for these users? You could end up with a bunch of tokens that you never expected, and this can turn out to be a great investment. Um, all, so keep an eye on retro airdrop announcements or crypto space. Uh, it's always a good idea. It really doesn't hurt too much. So risk and considerations. This is kind of an important part. This is something I was thinking about. It's also important to note that while retro airdrops can be exciting, they also carry risk. The value of tokens can be very volatile. Um, so basically after an airdrop is completed, the basically the tokens could plummet. So how could this be exploited maybe? Well, you could see influencers leaking or rumors of a retro airdrop coming for let's say xrp let's just to say uh and basically the token will pump a bunch of people will buy it uh and this i guess srp is not a good example because you're looking for maybe more a smaller token so let's call it kenny coin kenny coin comes out there's rumor from a big influencer that kenny coin is going to do a retro airdrop a lot of people buy it all of a sudden the prices pump and basically the i guess the developers or that influencer dumps all the coins and there was never an airdrop planned at all so in conclusion a retro airdrop is a unique way of crypto projects to reward their users for their past contributions and participation it's a fascinating concept that add an element of kind of like surprise to the cryptocurrency world so basically you're a good player you support projects well here's your reward type of thing so well anyway i this is obviously not financial advice i leave it up to you i just want to clarify because i've seen a lot of big channels talking about this so this is my quick little explanation for you thanks for joining me today uh, if you found this video be helpful don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe uh, for more exciting updates in the world of crypto We'll see you later.